Hi Knights fans, here we are about to kick off our 2020 pre-season campaign. I am joined by our new head coach Stuart Munro, as well as newly signed assistant coach Lachlan Armstrong. Lads, first of all, we'd like to welcome you both to Melbourne Knights Football Club on behalf of everyone here. Stuart, uh, let's start with you. Welcome to the club, mate. We're excited to have you come on board as head coach. How have you settled in so far? Yeah, look, it's, uh, it's first of all, it's great to be here and um, it's, a, it's a bit of a privilege, to be honest. And, um, I don't think I envisage myself being at Melbourne Knights, especially when I live the other side of the, the other side of the city. But um, it's been a busy past few weeks. Obviously, there's lots of things that we want to try and get organised and, and get prepared for, and um, there'll be some changes that we want to make around the place. And um, everything we're going to try and do is going to be for the benefit of the club. Excellent to hear. Lachlan, what about you? Have you found the club so far, mate? Well, look, I'm just really looking forward to getting stuck into pre-season training. I'm a little bit of a clean skin when it comes to, to working at, at the top NPL level, so you're yeah, really looking forward to, to the first night of training and, and getting to know the, the players and the playing group and, and you know seeing how we can move forward this season. All right, in saying that, talking about pre-season, so the weather's uh, pretty terrible today at the moment, but um, pre-season, of course, just around the corner for the boys. Um, I've spoken to a few of the players and they're pretty excited to have you guys both on board. Um, to see what uh, you guys can bring to, to training and also game days. Uh, what are the, some of the things that we can expect to see from the squad in 2020? Yeah, look, um, we're, at the moment we're, we're trying to put together a, a, a medical team and a fitness team that will be uh, looking after the players. We think it's very important that for, you know, we're going to have really good players at this club and we need to have people looking after them as well. Um, so they'll be heavily involved in the pre-season training and the preparation for the players for the, the season ahead. Um, but we want to enjoy it. We want to we want to make sure the players are working really hard. We want them to enjoy it as well. And obviously, you really enjoy your football and you're winning your football. So everything we do will be geared towards winning next year. Um, you know, fitness-wise, we we put our trust in the people we bring in to, to get the players fit. Myself and Lockie will be uh, working very much on the shape and the style of play that the team will will have going forwards. And um, and yeah, we're just hoping to to have a, a good bunch of hard-working players. Excellent to hear. Now you talk about the the players, of course, uh, enjoying themselves, and and that comes with uh, you know on the pitch results and that sort of thing. Um, so I guess in terms of of a professional aspect, um, what do you guys see in terms of the dressing room uh, from a from a cultural perspective? I think I think looking at myself, looking at the squad from last year and. and how they started so well and then it dropped off. I think we look at the fact that the time when they uh, when they when they lost Thomas Love, went back to Sydney and I think Marianne moved upstairs to become a coach. They lost a lot of experience at the time. Prior to that I think the players and I said this to the players a couple of weeks ago, the players were doing very well. The players that were here were a good level of player, a good standard of player, they just lacked probably a little bit of leadership on the pitch. We hope we're going to try and correct that with the players we bring in. Um, and we want to bring that into the dressing room as well. We want to bring a real culture into the dressing room where um, the players are having fun, they're enjoying themselves, but they're very much focused on what the job is in hand. We want to get some more experienced players into that dressing room to help the younger players. Uh, I think there is a good standard of player at the club already. I just think they do need the help. And, uh, and if we can bring in the right types of people to help them, I think the club can be very successful this year. Excellent. Uh, finally, Stuart, I'd like to, to finish with a question for yourself. You're obviously uh, no stranger to, to Melbourne Knights Football Club. Um, I just would like to finish off with uh, maybe a standout memory from yourself and and also, I guess, you know, you, you're you coming in as head coach and what would uh, be some of the memories that you'd like to create for 2020? Look, memories that I'd like to create is, is the memories I think any, any coach wants to create when they take over a new job and that's success. I want to bring back success to Melbourne Knights. Um, success could be the end of the season being champions. It could be making the finals. You know, it could be winning one of the cup competitions or making the the final runs of the cup competitions. We want to be a successful team. We want to be a successful club. Um, that's certainly going to be my aim: is to try and install that into players. I've been very fortunate during my own career as a player, even as a coach to a lesser extent. Um, I've had a lot of success, and, and and I know what it looks like. I know what it smells like, and it's something I'll be trying to pass on to my players as well. Um, memories of this club are very much the old NSL days. You know, when you had some great, great people at this club. Um, I was, I was in charge of other clubs that would play against the Melbourne Knights, but I used to just love coming to the stadium. And, and um, I think one of my first ever games when I came into Australia, I was actually playing for Sydney United, up in, and we came down here to play against Melbourne Knights. 
I think the one thing I remember more than anything was I was standing on the left wing and the way the sun came down in the middle of the day, you couldn't see a thing. And it was just, I thought, how can you have a game of football when you can't even see half the pitch? But um, yeah, great place, great memories. Excellent. And uh, guys, I'd just like to thank you both uh, very much for your time. Once again, welcome to the club and we can't wait to see what you bring for 2020. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.